Hi, and welcome to Moto Mouth. I'm Moshe K. Levy, and today we're going to be talking about this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde exhaust that I've been reviewing for an upcoming edition of On the Level magazine. Now, this novel exhaust system for BMW's GS allows the rider to pick from three different sound modes on the fly at the push of a button. Let's go into an overview and see how this thing works and how it sounds. Here's how it works. This illuminated handlebar mounted switch actuates the servo motor, which in turn adjusts an internal valve located in the interior of the exhaust system via heavy duty waterproof cables. In Dr. Jekyll mode, the valve is closed, diverting the exhaust gases around the valve and through perforations on the side chambers of the exhaust, where they pass through patented single strand fiber dampening material before being routed out. This is the quietest mode. A push of the button opens the valve halfway for dynamic mode, which adds a distinctive low-frequency bark to Jekyll mode. A final push of the button unleashes Mr. Hyde mode, where the valve opens fully and the rider is treated to the Boxer Twins' guttural roar as the exhaust gases pass through relatively unrestricted. The whole system is governed via an electronic control unit, which plugs directly into the GS's existing wiring harness, reading CAN bus signals from the bike and allowing the exhaust to power on and off in tandem with the engine. Installation of the exhaust itself is relatively straightforward, no different than other typical aftermarket pipes, except here you have the added step of installing the switch on the handlebar and plugging the exhaust wiring harness into the bike's harness, which is basically a plug and play proposition. J&H has a 22 minute long installation video showing the entire process on their YouTube channel, which I'll link to below in the show notes for anyone interested in the complete installation procedure. Now once installed, one can't help but notice that this is quite the handsome pipe. Its superbly finished Nomad black body leads to this glossy hexagon-shaped carbon fiber end cap, which is punctuated by a gorgeously machined aluminum accent plate on the rear. And the inlet cover here, which hides the link pipe and stock variable exhaust valve assembly, is finished in matching glossy carbon fiber as well. So the final appearance is sleek and serious and decidedly of market, drawing loads of attention from fellow GS riders at our usual gatherings. Let's take a listen. To measure decibel readings, my friend Chris from Audio Control stopped by with his calibrated DMRTA decibel meter, and we used the SAE J2825 standard, placing the measurement about 20 inches from the exhaust at a 45 degree angle. To keep things simple, we measured at idle in all three modes. Dr. Jekyll came in at 85.9 decibels, Dynamic came in at 88.1 decibels, and Mr. Hyde rang up 93.1 decibels. For reference, SAE J2825 recommends a 92 dBA limit at idle for all motorcycles. Out on the road where the GS's personality can now be instantly transformed from mild to wild depending on my own mood, I must admit I grew to love exercising that expression. Now BMW deserves some kudos here too for making its latest iteration boxers, especially this 1250 shift cam, much more audibly compelling than previous generations, which produced what sounded to my ears like a prolonged duck fart. By contrast, the J&H pipe here unleashed the GS's inner growl, adding a healthy dollop of welcome character to this machine. 
And it's not even about volume in this case. Even in Dr. Jekyll mode, as you heard, this exhaust successfully muffled all of the former high-frequency treble and replaced it with a deep snarl that any red-blooded gearhead will instantly love, all at basically stock sound decibels. So Mr. Hyde only amplifies that bass-rich charisma, but never obnoxiously. It's truly the best of both worlds, being able to switch between moods while blasting around the canyons or near silently gobbling up long stretches of highway at speed. Now, I initially thought that this feature would be just a cool party trick at the local bike nights, but it proved to be much more than that. And now it's my favorite GS accessory so far. Just note, I did not notice any seat of the pants improvements in performance, and I wasn't able to find any dyno charts online or objective measurements of power increases anywhere. So I'd say this upgrade is purely for the sound. So this Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde exhaust is made in Holland and carries an MSRP of 1755. It's covered by a four year warranty. So for functionality, I'm gonna give it five out of five wheelies. For value, four out of five wheelies. And durability is yet unknown. I've only got a thousand miles on it so far, but it should be superb given the high-end materials used in the construction of this pipe. Until next time, keep the shiny side up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more of your favorite Moto Gear reviews.